My name is Andy Madaki. Every week we bring you juicy information around lifestyle, sports, politics, poetry and much more. But let's talk about the elections. Last week Saturday we had the Gubantara elections and it's so ironic how much we talk about politicians and how they try to influence and use young people. But the reality is we also need to stop letting these people use us. The amount of bigotry and tribalism which we saw on social media and the internet in the last two weeks is absurd and ridiculous. Then also seeing people stopping other people from voting. It starts from someone saying this land belongs to us and you are our guests and you are visitors and so you need to vote for who we want. That isn't what democracy is about. If we've complained about military rules, we can't have civilians doing the same thing just because of resource control. You keep quiet when you see things happen like this until you get to a point where we saw in some of the elections where some people were told they don't look like their own tribe and so they couldn't vote. And that's because when it started, people kept quiet. We must speak loudly and clearly against bigotry, tribalism, religious and ethnic divide because of elections. These people who are running for the elections, they don't care about where you're from. They care about resource control and being in power. And so we must make sure that we aren't being used like what we saw. A country which is still recovering and repairing itself from a civil war. When we sow such seeds of discord, it grows into something which may not show this year like we have seen, but it may increase in the next five to ten years and our children and ourselves will suffer for it. And so we must shun and avoid all form of bigotry, tribalism, tr um, religious and ethnic divides in Nigeria and politics.